Hi folks, as many of you will already know, this next year is going to be a, a year of transition for us. When I returned to lead the church here, together with Alison in 2017, um, we had a word from God. There were two words, in fact. The first was transformation. We knew that we had to continue the work of cultural transformation that had begun around about 2011, 2012. Uh, some really deep cultural changes for the church. And we are so thrilled to be able to say uh, what God has done among us as a church family and how things have changed. And there's such peace, such health, such love, and, and we're growing again as a church. We're so grateful to God for his grace and his faithfulness. But the second word was transition. We knew from the very beginning that as the transformation was going forward and was moving on, that it, the time would be right then to hand over the leadership of the work of God here to someone else and for us to transition into different roles. Over the last two years, we have been praying and talking and thinking and reading about and praying about all of this as a leadership team. And we're now letting you know uh, where we're up to with that. So from the 4th of February, 2024, Alison and I will step aside from leading the work here and hand over gladly, excitedly to Dan Lush to lead the church as senior leader into its future. After a short break, Alison will continue on the leadership team, working with Dan and the others, and will also continue to manage the branch, the, the expression of outreach into the community of this local church. I will not be part of the leadership any longer, but I'm just currently seeking God um, about what he wants me to do, something to do with writing and resourcing discipleship, but just really praying about it at the moment and would appreciate your prayers. But it's all change, but it's all good. We feel that the Holy Spirit is leading us in this way, and so we can trust him with all the details, and we can trust him that it's going to be a great future for us, for Dan, the leadership team, and for you, the whole church. We moved to Huddersfield 25 years ago, but my calling to leadership started when I was 17. Now, I haven't been senior leadership because of our understanding of women in leadership. The whole of that time, just for the last four years, I have been leading in various capacities, but I'm still really happy to pass over the senior leadership to Dan Lush at this time. I will still be heading up and leading the branch, and I plan to work closely with the vision, the leadership of the church, and the church family as we outwork our love for the town together. I will be taking a break of three months and then coming back onto the core team. I still have energy and passion to lead us into new places. I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to stay on as manager of the branch and to lead prophetically in creating a kingdom culture that includes those outside the church family. I'm excited also that Dan has a real passion to see the love of Jesus in the real world. He's worked alongside us as operational manager and it's a really supportive world helping us through role helping us through challenges and move forward with different ideas and I have the confidence that we can move forward together continue to work well together as he becomes senior leader. I've worked alongside Dan for many years on the youth work and I've seen him mature and develop into a strong and passionate leader. I know he's a real heart for people and serves with all his heart in whatever he does whether it be youth work, tech team or hub leader, he's a real hunger for the Bible and for prayer. And I'm so pleased to see him stepping up into his new role of leadership and service. I pray every blessing on him and I hope to serve him in whatever way I can. Hi everyone. I want to share a bit of my story. I have the enormous privilege of having been in a relationship with God for most of my life. I learned from an early age that he loved me he was interested in me and that he would speak to me. I learned to listen for his voice, guiding me and distinctly remember him calling me to create spaces and places for people to meet with him. Something that I have gone after both in my former career and also within the local church. But before any of this, 
I have learned, and I'm still learning today, to simply love God. Speaking of the local church, it has, for as long as I can remember, been a passion of mine. I have been a part of a local church all of my life, for 18 years on the south coast, and for the last 21 years here in Huddersfield. Throughout my teenage years, I became more and more convinced that the local church was, and still is, the primary way that Jesus will bring his kingdom to earth. I am still convinced of this today. Community Church Huddersfield has been my home since 2001. I love this local church and have delighted in being a part of it, serving wherever was needed, from worship team to youth, from tech team to leading our small groups, our family hubs with my wife Ruth. Over the last few years, through prayer, Seeking God and many conversations, God has been speaking to me. This has been both individually and with others, both in our church family and with trusted mentors. God has told me to widen my vision, to realise the depth of goodness that he has placed within me and he's spoken to me about stepping up into church leadership. I am convinced that this is where God has called me. Community Church Huddersfield, my home, to help us create spaces and places for people to meet with him. For those that already know him and the world outside our doors that so desperately need him. I am so excited to be taking up the senior leadership role in this season for us as a church. There are many unknowns ahead. But of this I am assured, God has amazing plans for us as a church and he has called us to bring his kingdom to Huddersfield as it is in heaven.